Most people know that Medicare is our national health insurance program, but when a person turns 65 and is eligible for benefits, understanding how it actually works can be kind of confusing. That's why each year during open enrollment, it's important to choose a plan that's right for you. Here with some tips is Natalie DeMace, the agency sales director at Barnum Financial Group. Natalie, welcome to the show. Nice to have you back here. Hi, Teresa. Um, so let's start from the basics. Do you have to enroll in Medicare when you reach 65? Well, it depends. If you need health insurance, you should definitely apply for Medicare. So you have to apply for Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. If you're working or your spouse, you have um, health insurance through you, yourself or your spouse, mm -hmm. you don't need to apply for the Medicare health insurance because you have it at your work. That makes sense. A lot of people will, though, apply for Medicare Part A. There's two different parts. They'll apply for Medicare Part A because there's no cost involved with it. And with all the high deductible health plans, it could help them save some money. Got it. Now, do you have to collect Social Security if you're enrolling in Medicare? No, they're two different things. They are. Both of them could really start at 65, so people get confused. Most people will wait to full retirement age to start collecting their Social Security income benefits, where Medicare, if you need the health insurance, you apply at 65. All right, so open enrollment is coming up a little later this month. Tell me why you still, why you might need to make changes, why you need to really pay attention to this date. Okay. A lot, October 15th starts the open enrollment period and it mm -hmm. goes until December 7th. So what happens is every year you enroll in a plan and you're stuck with that plan for a full calendar year. You are. So right now on October 15th, you can take a look at the 2015 plans and make a decision if that's still the right plan for you. And these plans change every year, so it's really important that you take a look at them. Okay, so this is your only opportunity to change. This is your only opportunity. Got it. All right, so let's talk about the annual notice of change. It gets sent to you. People probably toss it aside. Right. Do you really need to look at it? Yeah. So each carrier is responsible for sending out this annual notice of change on a, each year. So okay. it's usually done the end of September. So people have probably received it. Sometimes it's a couple pages. Sometimes it's an entire booklet. So it's really important for them to take a look at what the difference is from 2014 to 2015 to make sure they're comfortable, make sure the plan still works for them. And what really should you look for in that plan? Is you want to understand what your premium is, mm -hmm. what your maximum out of pocket is, your prescription drugs, are they covered? You know, sometimes they change from year to year, the drug formula. You want to make sure your drugs are covered. You want to make sure your doctors are in the network mm -hmm. if you need to see a new doctor. And if you don't take any prescriptions, you probably don't need to sign up for the plan, correct? A lot of people think that. They say, well, I'm going to save money. I don't, I don't take any prescriptions. You might get sick, though, right? <laughs> However, yes. <laughs> so today you're not taking any prescriptions. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. So it's really important that you enroll in a Medicare drug plan when you're first eligible. Otherwise, there could be some financial penalties, and mm -hmm. there's also time period penalties. So you want to make sure you're protected. Got it. And explain to us how networks kind of work. Okay. So a lot of the Medicare Advantage plans have networks of doctors and networks mm -hmm. of hospitals. So when you're looking to enroll in a plan, you want to find out, one, does your doctor accept Medicare, but then does your doctor accept that network? Um, or is he in that network for that insurance company? So a lot of people say, well, I'm working. I work, you know, I have X insurance company already, so I'm mm -hmm. just going to switch over to that plan for Medicare. Unfortunately, the doctor sometimes will accept the employer network, mm -hmm. but not the Medicare network. So it's really important to look at that. Um, last year, they started with even pharmacy networks. So oh, you actually boy. get a discount if you go to one of the preferred network pharmacies versus just a regular network pharmacy. This can be a little overwhelming, I feel like. It can be overwhelming. <laughs> Where do people get the help that they need? Well, they should, again, look at their, um, you know, Medicare 1-800-MEDICARE is a great resource. Mm -hmm. They should definitely take a look at the annual notice of change. And to help out consumers, we're actually having some educational workshops. So those seminars are, are coming up on Wednesday, correct? October um, 22nd. There we go. And they're going to be located in Shelton. 9.30 in the morning, one at night at 6. Correct. What are people going to learn there? Well, the idea is a lot of people have been enrolled in Medicare for 5, 10 years. They still don't understand what they have. <laughs> I bet. So we go down to the basics. It's an educational workshop to de really define, you know, what's Part A, what's Part B, when do you do certain things. So it's great for those who are already on Medicare, mm -hmm. and it's great for those who are 65 or turning 65. We actually have sometimes younger people come to help the make parents, decisions for their parents. Too, right? Yes. Very good. Well, you're a wealth of knowledge, Natalie. Thank you for being here. And for more info, you can call the number on your screen. We'll put it up, 888-712-2310, or visit barnumfinancial.com.